everyone. Thank you very much for joining me today. I, I'm going to go through how to configure um, a, a new wireless LAN on a wireless LAN controller, and then we're going to set that up for a pre shared key authentication using WPA2. So, in my previous video, I showed how you showed you how to set up the controller and all the network side of things. Uh, that's, that was on part one. Uh, so for this for this part, all we're going to do is we're going to just create a completely new wireless LAN. We're going to create a DHCP scope, and then we're going to set up the new wireless LAN for pre-shared key authentication. So in my network at the moment, I've got uh, a 2960 switch and an 887 router, which is and the two interfaces are set up as trunks. Um, because this has a four-port switch module, it has to be configured just like a switch and an SVI. If you had a router, then you'd configure just like a router on a stick type of configuration. Um, but that's all already set up, so all I need to do is create the new VLANs uh, on, on, on the 887 and on the 2960 and then create the SVI on that. Um, so here's here's the configuration for that. So this is, on, this is the router configuration. Um, I've got some natting going on on here because that's because um, that's only bec because I need to get uh, internet connection. So I'll just take that and I put that into the router. Okay. Yeah, so that's my VLAN up and running. And there's my VLAN 30. So that's the router configuration done. So we'll just do the quickly do the switch configuration now. And the switch configuration is straightforward, it's just the VLAN 30. So um, There we go. So there's your VLAN 30 all set up. So that's that's the router and the switch all set up. This is already set up as a trunk between the, the switch and the controller. So we'll now go ahead and do the controller configuration. So I've I've bottomed this out into three steps. So all the parameters have been configured and ready to go. So for step one, we're going to create a dynamic interface. So in order to create a wireless LAN on on the controller, the first step is to create a dynamic interface. And this dynamic interface has to be in the same VLAN as the one we're creating, which is VLAN 30. And then we have to give it an IP address, which is in that VLAN also. Um, so I've set up all the things, and my DHCP server is on the wireless LAN controller. So I've got to make sure that it's uh, aware of that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So this is my controller here. So if we look at the wireless LANs, um, I've got two wireless LANs at the moment. So, so the first thing is to do is to dynamic interface. You go into the controller settings go into interfaces and here you can create your dynamic interface so if we click on new and the interface name is WLAN PSK and the VLAN identifier is 30 we click on apply so it goes into the next stage of the configuration so here we're going to use port 1 because uh, I've already got that set up for port 1 uh, the VLAN identifier is 30 already and then here the IP address we're going to give it 30. 1.1.100 the net mask is 255 oops sorry let's get that right and the gateway is 30.1.1 which is the, the 887 router here you need to set up the primary DHCP server um, so the DHCP server is the controller itself which is the AP manager interface uh, and that's 10.1.1.100 okay so that's once that's done you click on apply and acknowledge that and there we go. So there's your WLAN. One thing it does do, it shows it's disabled on here. Uh, that's the dynamic AP management. Sometimes it's a little bit confusing. Don't get confused. That's the dynamic AP management, not the the, the interface itself. So that, that interface is now up and running and it's ready to go. So if we look at our next stage, we're going to create a DHCP scope for that VLAN 30 so that any devices attaching to that VLAN will get an IP address. So for that, you stay on the controller and then click on internal DHCP. Click on the DHCP scope and from here, we click on new and we're going to create the scope name, which is WLAN Appreciate Key. Click on apply. So it, straight away, it puts that in there, but the configuration for that is not quite complete. So we need to click on it again and here we need to set up the pool start which is 30.1.1.10 pool end is 
1.1.20, the network is 30.1.1.0, the net mask is 255.255.255.0. Least time I'll leave that as default, and then the default router is 30.1.1. And the DNS, I'm going to use the Google DNS, and I've got my own as well as a backup. Um, so that's pretty much set up the DHCP scope, and the last step is to change that to enabled and click on apply. So there's our DHCP scope set up. Um, we've got the dynamic interface set up. We now need to set up the new wireless LAN. So you go to the click the wireless LAN and from here you click create new and for the type it's going to be a, a wireless LAN. So profile name we'll give it WLAN PSK. SSID I'm going to keep that the same. And the ID it, it I mean you know the, the controller as that on there is is basically differentiating all the different wireless LANs. So I've got two already. This is my third one. I'm going to leave that as it is and default. Click on apply. So it moves you on to the next menu. So in order to enable the wireless LAN, you need to click here. Uh, as soon as I click that um, and we we apply that, you'll 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 see that the wireless LAN actually comes in. But um, let's just um, so you click on enable and then. The, before you you apply that you need to make sure that you assign this to the dynamic interface so here where it says interface interface group you need to say that it's part of that WLAN PSK so which is VLAN 30 once that's done we just click on apply and then we should see that wireless LAN pop in there we go it's just popped in it's got a, a little Rex X on there because it's it's not we haven't set up all the security yet so uh, we just need to do that next Okay, so uh, from from that, so we now move on to the final stage, which is to to actually create configure the the pre shared key authentication. So from here, um, st still staying on on the wireless LAN, you go into the security. Um, it's already set up for WPA2, and it's you need to make sure the WPA2 policy is clicked, and then you've got AES encryption. Um, last thing to do is change that to pre shared key. And then put a password on there. So we're going to use C I S C O one two three four five. We click on apply, and say OK to that. And that's it. So we should be ready to go. So next stage is to test the connection. Okay. So if we go to our wireless connections, and there we go. So just go to network settings, um, and then that one connect to that and it says security so we go capital C I S C O one two three four five click next and no to that and it's connected so let's just have a quick look at this advanced settings so there you go so it's received an IP address of 30.1.1.10 the DNS servers as we assigned on the DHCP were 8888 and 192.168.0.1 so if I just bring up the command prompt and then do an IP config and scroll up to my wireless connections I just come past it, here we go, that's it so there's my wireless connection and it's received an IP address of 30.1.1.10 and the default gateway is 3110 so let's see if we can ping uh, 30.1.1.1 successful We'll just ping my DNS server, which is the D internet. That's working perfectly, and we should be able to get some internet connections now. So let's just get that to uh, Yahoo, and there we go. So that's basically it. Very simple, straightforward. Um, thank you very much for listening. I hope you found that useful.